guys, welcome to CNN Saturday. Today we're talking about Legally Blonde. It's so good. That's all that you need to know. <laughs> you know how when you watch Mean Girls and stuff like that, you're like, wow, this is so 2000s. That's also how I feel about this movie and I didn't even see it till like two years ago. So it like really captures the way movies were shot in the 2000s. A lot of the like, not quite musical numbers that a lot of movies had in the 2000s. Like, they have, like, montages and, like, dance numbers without them really being dance numbers, like the bend and snap part. As far as, like, the actual characters in it, I love them all, except for Warner, of course. But Elle especially, I love that she is, like, classically feminine, but still, like, deep and, like, such a strong character and allowed to have the interests that she has without like being made fun of for having those interests. So cool. She's so genuine with her friends and she helps them even when it doesn't do anything for her and that's like a really telltale sign of a good friend and I love it. Favorite lines. My favorite line I think in the whole movie is the part where Warner's like, you got into Harvard Law and she's like, what? Like it's hard? And it's so funny because she just like destroys him. She's like, I'm just as serious as you are and you can't give me crap for not being serious because I totally am serious. And I love that she just immediately makes friends with her new manicurist and helps him get the UPS guy when obviously that doesn't like help her in any tangible way. It just is a good thing to do because she's a genuinely good person who genuinely cares about other people even though she seems shallow and that is such a great uplifting thing to have and a lot of people in the movie and outside of the movie call her like Barbie and stuff and you know what I would love to have her as a role model and I do have her as a role model honestly you can be classically feminine and still be strong there's no difference to me. There are so many people I know who are so feminine and so strong. My mom is super feminine and super strong. So many of my friends are very feminine and very strong. That's not black and white. They're not opposites. They are able to coexist and often they do and I love that. I love how well this movie demonstrates that. Another thing I love about Elle Woods is she refuses to be mean even when it is expected of her. So she's at that party and like somebody's mean to her and she, you know, has a snappy comeback. It's a snappy comeback less than her just being outrageously mean. And then the lesbian's like, oh, you would have called me a, a D word and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I don't use that word. She's like, I'm not gonna play your game. I'm not gonna pit myself against you just because you think that that's how I am. I'm gonna defy your expectations and I'm gonna be who I am and I'm gonna be nice to you even if that's not what you expect of me. And the part when she's like talking to Warner at that same party and she's like, you can just see the gears turning in her head and she's like, you know what? This isn't worth it. This isn't worth it. But I'm gonna prove to everyone that I'm good enough and I'm enough and I am everything to myself and I am complete as a person by myself. And of course the fact that she ends up friends with Vivian is so wonderful. It makes me so happy that she ends up friends with somebody who she could have just been enemies her whole life and hated her whole life. And she didn't, she decided to be a bigger person than that. Cause Vivian, it's not Vivian's fault Warner broke up with her, it's Warner's fault for being a silly face. A dumbass, TBH. So yeah, the fact that she ends up friends with Vivian is one of the best parts of the movie. Legally Blonde, too good, love it, watch it, critically analyze it. Yes. Peace out.